So today we're going to make a box car. We have a big box that had a air fryer in it. Uh, we have our glue, our glue sticks, tape just in case, scissors, and we're going to cover it with this pretty paper. So the first thing we want to do is cut all these sides off. So I'm going to use an X-Acto knife to get the best cut for that. Okay, now that I have all the sides cut off, I need to measure out my wrapping paper and cut it to size. So I like to use the wrapping paper from Winners here in Canada. Um, I'm not really sure where a good place to get it is in the States. But it's a thicker wrapping paper so it doesn't rip as easily as the traditional Christmas paper. So I have my glue gun all heated up and ready to start gluing this on. I'm going to start at the bottom and then trim the top afterwards. Make sure you get an adult to do this because these are very, very hot. Alright, so I have the whole thing covered in the wrapping paper. I'm not going to worry about the inside. But she wants to wear this as a car that you can like walk around in. So now I need to make a hole in it. But because of the flaps the way they are, we might have to do some reinforcements with the hot glue as well. Okay, so I used an X-Acto knife again, it's not perfect, but that's okay, to cut out a hole, and then I got her to stand in the middle to make sure there was enough room. So because of these flaps here, I'm just going to reinforce them with some hot glue just to make sure that everything stays together. Okay, so now I'm going to work at the wheels. So I got this paper from the dollar store, it was $4. Um, there's lots of different patterns in it. Because there's only two of each kind, we're going to have to have different wheels. So I'm going to pick two, and then I'm just going to trace them with this bowl. So this actually worked out perfectly because I can get two wheels out of each one. So we're going to have four that are all the same. All right, so we have the wheels on. I'm going to do a license plate now. So I found that the bottom of the Swiffer wet wipes is kind of like the shape of a license plate and then I'm gonna make it out of this wrapping paper all right so I have the outside done I kind of regret the front these are headlights and a windshield we got the wheels we have a license plate and wheels again now I'm going to work on attaching the strings so I'm going to use this mason twine that I got from the dollar store and then I'm going to use the exacto knife again to just do little crosses so the holes aren't too big. Put the strings through and knot them on the inside so then she can wear them over her shoulders. Okay, so I put it through. I knotted it three times and then I'm going to pull it tight. Once I get it to this point, I'm going to reinforce it with some hot glue just to make sure it doesn't ever move. And then I'm going to get Nat to stand in the middle and measure it so the shoulder length is correct. Alright, so while that last one is drying, well not the last one, the second last one is drying, I'm going to try to make a steering wheel. So I've glued two pieces back to back so it looks like the same pattern from the back and the front. What I'm going to do is make it look like an actual steering wheel, so I'm going to cut pieces out here, and then I really want to be able to spin it. So I'm going to put two small holes in the center and string a piece of rope through it, so then it'll be able to rotate. I think I can make it work. If you had one of those, you know those little push pins you had in school and you push it through and then you do the two flaps down, if you guys know what I mean. That would be perfect, but we don't have those, so we're going to figure it out. This looks absolutely terrible. I was going to do four, and then I decided for three, and now we got to fix it. Okay, this is still not perfect, but we're going to go with it. I'm going to put the wheel on top of a piece of cardboard and use the X-Acto knife to cut these out. So I listened to my child who said she wanted it this length, and it's way too small. So, yes, you did. So now I'm going to have to cut this glue out a bit and tie another piece to it. Okay, so because I reinforced it so well with the glue before, I didn't want to just tie them together and have this hanging on it because it's way too hard to get off. So I just redid it. These are drying now. I highly, highly, highly suggest doing a long string and then what we're gonna do is once she puts it on at the end if it's too long I'll just tie knots up here that will go over her shoulders and that'll be a lot better all right so I put a piece of string through and I made a knot on this side 
And then I did the same thing on this side. So I put a little knot. So because they're just little knots, then this can spin around freely. All right, what do you think? Do you love it? Yeah. Okay, do a little spin for mom, really slow, okay? <laughs> oh. You love it? Okay, turn around again. I want to see your back. So most people do the crisscross straps. So like this end to that corner and this end to that corner. My kid, it's a little bit crazy and I knew she wouldn't be able to get into it. So I just took another small piece, looped it around the strings and did a little bow in it so it's easy to take off. That way it'll stay in place and it won't fall off her shoulders while she's playing with it. But that's the end. Take another look at me now. Do you love it? Steer. Wow. Awesome. You're literally full of marker and cheesies, but that's fine. <laughs> cool car, hey? Give everyone a big thumbs up. Say bye.